hello my dear students so we have completed a mines uh, preparation mind map so this is uh, the reactions of uh, amines okay so here i have taken only the prime uh, sorry the aliphatic amines okay the reactions that i am uh, discussing is only the aliphatic amines not the aromatic i have taken okay so let us go here so here are some reactions through which we can identify or we can distinguish between the primary secondary and the tertiary amine okay so some are named reactions are also present here so let us start discussing so the first one reaction you could take over here is amine okay when this amine treated with the acyl chloride when the amine is treated with the acyl chloride in presence of a pyridine okay the process is known as acylation and the product formed is n substituted amide okay n substituted amide so r group might might be uh, whatever the alkyl we will going to take here r may be methyl ethyl propyl like that okay so n substituted that is to the nitrogen the substituted we have uh, ch3cohnh which is nothing but what amide group okay and the process is known as what acylation okay so let us move to the next one that is this is very important see when the amine when amine is treated with a mixture of chloroform okay followed by the excess of potassium hydroxide okay when it is heated with these two there is a production of a foul smell or the bad smell will be produced okay so that bad smell is due to the formation of a alkyl isocyanide okay the alkyl isocyanide is produced and this uh, reaction or this process is uh, used to distinguish between the Uh, like aliphatic and the aromatic amines okay whether it's a primary amine secondary amine like that also or it is used to distinguish between the aliphatic and the aromatic amines okay so how they will going to distinguish if the foul smell or the bad smell is uh, produced okay so that results the bad smell is due to the formation of a isocyanide okay and the name of the reaction is known as carbyl amine reaction okay you can call it as carbyl amine reaction or you can call it as isocyanide test okay isocyanide test so do remember the reagents chloroform with a potash alcoholic potash okay potash is nothing but potassium hydroxide so isocyanide will be formed so the reaction is carbyl amine or isocyanide so let us move to the next one that is when amine is treated with a mixture of sodium nitrite and hcl okay at 0 degree when i say 0 degree it is absolutely like a cold condition okay see whenever the amine it may be aliphatic or the aromatic amine when treated with this mixture okay so these two mixture when added to the amine okay within the reaction it will going to produce the nitrous acid okay so amine when treated with the nitrous acid you could say and you should know how the nitrous acid will be formed by the reaction of sodium nitrite and hcl at 0 degree the cold condition should be maintained okay so that results in the formation of what respective alkyl or aryl diazonium salt alkyl or aryl diazonium chloride okay so this process this process is known as what diazotization reaction okay so this process is known as diazotization reaction we can prepare primary amine sorry primary uh, sorry aliphatic diazonium as well as aromatic over here now this reaction you have to remember dear students okay whenever the alkyl or the aryl diazonium salt is hydrolyzed or treated with a water we will going to get what the respective alcohol okay this is very important we will going to get a respective alcohol with a liberation of nitrogen gas okay so this is about the diazotization so the next reaction all the three are of like same okay so the reaction name is called heinsberg okay heinsberg reaction it is called heinsberg reaction and the reagent used here is heinsberg reagent okay so the reagent is 
benzene sulfonyl chloride you could see the formula benzene sulfonyl chloride okay this reagent is known as heinsberg reagent okay so this test or this reaction is used to distinguish between the primary secondary as well as for the tertiary amine okay so let us go through whenever the amine whenever the amine treated with a that is particularly primary amine okay whenever the primary amine is treated with a uh, heinsberg reagent it results in the formation of n alkyl benzene sulfonamide okay n alkyl benzene sulfonamide is formed and this this when treated with when the compound is formed when this is treated with a alkali alkali means sodium hydroxide it is soluble the compound formed is soluble in alkali okay through which you can distinguish you can find it's a primary amine so next what happens if the secondary amine is taken if the secondary amine is taken and when it is treated with the same heinsberg reagent we will going to get what nn dialkyl benzene sulfonamide okay so here also sulfonamide here also sulfonamide but when this compound is treated with the alkali that is sodium hydroxide it is insoluble okay it does not dissolve in the given alkali so primary was soluble secondary was insoluble so you can distinguish if uh, it gets soluble if the amine, amine we have taken is a primary amine then it gets soluble then you can say yes it's a primary amine like that when the next one is when the amine that is tertiary amine is taken and is treated with the same reagent that is heinsberg reagent okay it will not going to find any reactions over there it's because there is no presence of a tertiary hydrogen atom in case of a tertiary amine okay this is how you can distinguish between the primary secondary and the tertiary amine so you have to remember the reagent that i have mentioned in each reaction okay that is that plays a quite important role in some of the uh, like uh, karnataka city when in the previous year they have asked many questions based on that one so my next video is about the previous year questions for or from the amines itself okay thank you